I cannot enter. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Do you need medical help yourself, Nurse? I'm fine, really. I just need to sleep. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Fear and disgust on every street corner. A giant morgue disguised as a hospital. That mistress of the dark. Stop following me. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives? I have some good news, Milton. What? The epidemic's over? I retrieved your wallet. With all the money and a certain picture. Well, yeah. Pippa Hawkins is my girl. So what? Is it the difference of skin colour that bothers you? Not at all, Milton. Good. Please, take this money anyway. To remind you to keep your mouth shut. Not everybody is as broad-minded as you, Dr. Reed. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. It's locked. Please, Jonathan, come in. Fascinating, is it not? In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body, biology's penultimate frontier. The more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> the, you, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. This must be all so new to you. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea, but my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead? Unalive? Immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. There is an absurd poetry to my situation. Physician, heal thyself. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and 
now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. There is no need to apologize, Edgar. You offered me sanctuary when I had none. Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Something that will require all your newfound skills. Please, go on. The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out... A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. And you would like me to eradicate this threat? By the stole, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. You can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. Flew took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. <laughs> Mr. Rainfield, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <laughs> Mr. 
Now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind, the blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a vamp. The lady who saved me that night, before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. Apologies. You've taken me by surprise. I'm very happy to see you. The pleasure is mine, Doctor. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions. But our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. Who would be so foolish as to threaten you, a kindred spirit? Even if it were the case, and I highly doubt it, a vampire would have asked for something more valuable than money. My suspicions lean toward a patient, or their family. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. Is it true? Now aren't you the blunt one? Excuse my impertinence, your ladyship. This is not an interrogation. I assure you that this line of questioning is in your best interest. In all honesty, I'm not simply a patron to the hospital. My visits serve a dual purpose. Dr. Swansea has been treating my condition with a revolutionary technique of blood transfusion. It seems you are a specialist in the domain. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition.
sweet girl. Reads me like a book. these nurses bred with no respect what 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 is this who are you get out of my room there's no need for alarm madam I'm dr. Reed the new surgeon preposterous dr. Reed you say I don't want some bumbling intern where's dr. Swansea please calm down madam I assure you that I am highly qualified. I'm just back from war duty. <laughs> how brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts lit a poor sod's vein. If I didn't know better, Miss Jones, I'd be inclined to say you enjoy this type of idle gossip. God's honest truth, Doctor. It's just the way it is here. Most of these bitches would let you freeze to death before getting you a blanket. You seem to know more about the goings-on here than anyone else. Beware, Miss Jones, in case suspicion should fall on you. That's it. Blame the old and infirm. I see those little bitches' greedy little eyes. Just waiting for me to pop off, they are. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's, whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. 